Hi, I'm May. I'm one of the coaches with Aspiring Solicitors, and I'm delighted to be joined from by Darren from Freshfields today. And he's going to be talking to us a little bit about his experience with Aspiring Solicitors and the Freshfields Start Scheme. So Darren, welcome and thank you so much for joining us today. Um, firstly, I just wanted to start by um, asking you a little bit about your experience and journey into your career in law. Sure. So um, my journey is perhaps not the most traditional one. Uh, I had a career before um, embarking on my uh, future career in law. Um, I was a detective in the police for 13 years, um, where I spent a significant amount of my time investing, investigating organised crime and working on um, some other sort of serious and organized teams uh, within the police. I decided I wanted to change career about 30 years old, um, but at the time I didn't have any qualifications after sort of leaving school, I didn't go to college or university. So I spent some time sort of considering what I could do. I ended up doing some A-level equivalency qualifications after work in the evenings, uh, which allowed me to apply to university, subsequently, uh, went to university to study law, but I continued during that time to work part time in the police. So I was sort of balancing both study and work at the time. I was fortunate enough to get a training contract at Freshfields um, with the great assistance of aspiring solicitors, of which I sort of participated in something called the AS Start Scheme, which allowed me to spend some time within the firm um, to get a feel and understanding of, of Freshfields and, 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 and their sort of views and contribution towards diversity and inclusion in general and that's really something that sold me on sort of applying to and joining the firm so yeah that's that's me and as well as coming from a sort of non-traditional background of being a career changer understand sort of your own personal background you're from a low-income family first generation to go to university how did you find it going through the recruitment process for firms yeah, so I'm yeah first first in my family to go to university. Um, it was it was a uh, an eye opening experience, sort of the the uh, application journey itself. But um, it was made much easier by aspiring solicitors because of um, just the the sort of services and. Um, uh, people and services that were available to me to help me during that time. So, for example, aspiring solicitors arranged uh, bespoke open days uh, for, for me to attend, which, um, for those who haven't been, allows you to go into a law firm for a day to kind of see what they do. They give you some presentations. And, and what that helped to do was demystify the process of applying to law firms, but also helped demystify what what happens inside a law firm. Um, I'm somebody who, who, who'd never, never experienced this before. I'd never come into the city in my life. So, um, you know, whilst it was, you know, quite daunting at first, these sort of things helped make the process much easier for me. And I'm very grateful for that. And then of course you attended the AS Freshfield Start Scheme. So tell me about that. What was your experience? That was excellent. So, uh, I got to spend three or four days, uh, at the firm Freshfields, um, I think one day a month, uh, along with um, some other participants. And it really gave uh, me a bit, of a, a bit of a deeper dive into what Freshfields are about, what they do, um, what type of work um, they're involved in, but also it, it came with a coaching element too. So we were fortunate enough to spend some time with the graduate recruitment team and training development team within the firm. They were able to explain what qualities the firm were looking for and how we were able to sort of leverage our own experiences um, as coming from sort of a, a non-traditional background to, to, mm -hmm. to make ourselves or, or rather not make ourselves to show what, what great applicants we could be. Um, this involved doing some uh, interview practice with trainees who'd just gone through the process themselves, um, having an application sort of reviewed by the team and, and given some pointers in that regards, all of which was sort of aimed at giving us the best opportunity of being successful um, when applying to Freshfields. Wonderful. That's great that you got so much support through that, that particular scheme. And now fast forward, you're a trainee at Freshfields. 
what's it been like? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely great. Um, it's definitely been a journey. I'm in my sixth seat now, which is um, sort of traditionally referred to as the third seat, the sort of um, one before the last one, if you if you may call it that. Um, I've experienced a broad range of work across a variety of teams at Freshfields, both transactional work, litigious work, and now specialist work in the competition team. Um, it, it, it is a steep learning curve. I I, I make no <laughs> no illusion of that, but um, it's very rewarding at the same time because if I sort of look back when I first joined the firm and where I'm at now, I can see a big change in myself, both sort of um, as a as a perspective lawyer, but also sort of you know in myself as well and and, and in my professional capacity. So um, it's really really great. You get to work on such amazing uh mandates that you read about in the news they're super exciting um it's always great sort of you know working on them and reading about it thinking oh god i know a bit more than what's going on that's 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 amazing to do that it's also tough but it's you know it's rewarding once you sort of overcome those those obstacles because that's the sort of the joy of of, of working in 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 commercial law you know nothing's nothing's vanilla everything is niche everything is complex and it really sort of challenges you to be the best version of yourself so has it lived up to your expectations <laughs> yeah yeah it's been really good it's really good it's it was definitely um like a, like i say it was a steep learning curve at the start and to be fair you're learning every day um mm -hmm. but i absolutely love it and um would highly encourage anybody to kind of if you're feeling disillusioned if you've maybe had some rejections or, or whatever keep cracking because it's definitely working and worth it in the end and what support has Freshfields given you during the course of your training contract? Uh, so um, a, a, alongside sort of uh, the general training you get as a trainee, you also get sort of bespoke training um, within each of the different fir uh, firms, each of the different teams uh, that you become a part of that um, gives you the foundations to succeed within each of those teams. So, for example, I didn't study competition law while I was at university. However, sitting in the competition team now, there is a series of um, uh, sort of training sessions that give you the basis of sort of the law and the processes to sort of allow you to, to understand what's going on and ultimately you know, help you succeed within the team. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll leave that there for the moment. <laughs> And so obviously coming from a non-traditional, non-typical background to law, what does diversity at Freshfields look like to you? So Freshfields are actively engaged in diversity and inclusion, as it's known within the firm. Um, I am part of the Social Mobility Network, um, which is one of the newest networks um, within the firm where we look to promote awareness around social mobility uh, and really <clears throat> drive through the sort of you know the social mobility lens um that the firm's values are are deployed within the firm so for example um ensuring that um certain schemes are available to certain people to ensure that the right candidates are being targeted um during recruitment drives and you know i can wholeheartedly say that this is you know this is not something that the firm takes lightly they you know really do listen to to our concerns when they are raised um and and have made active changes as a result of those recommendations so you know when you say what does what does it look like at freshfields well it looks like that but they they truly do mean it they truly do mean it and and i would say um outside of that when i joined the firm you sort of look around the cohort who's joining with me who have i met who have i not met i was pleasantly surprised to see such a great mix of people um it was it was really encouraging um even as myself somebody who's a bit older there were sort of people similar to my age who were joining with me as well um and to me that just made me it, i don't know i i i, I felt a, a, a much greater sense of you know inclusion uh, within the firm because i wasn't i wasn't sort of the only person who's coming from a different career and things like that so um it was really really great brilliant great to hear so much about their inclusive atmosphere and culture that they've got 
So final question from me. What would be your one key piece of advice for our diverse membership at AS? I think the best advice that I would be able to give is um, don't think that your sort of perhaps non-traditional background or differing background that you may come from would disadvantage you in any way when applying to law firms. I actually think it's a huge, huge strength um, because you are able to offer experiences when applying to law firms that are generally going to be different to to those that they would traditionally receive and what is so great about that is that it allows you the opportunity to be memorable and i think there's a lot to be said about being a memorable candidate and you know if you have a fantastic story and a fantastic experience that you can put down on paper into an application form, you will really see the benefits of that once you get through to the interview stage, because you will see the interviewer's eyes light up and be like, oh, this is interesting. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to receive that myself. And it, and it, you know, it gives you a lot of confidence. So what I would say is that you don't need to wait for that sort of moment to happen where people think, you know, oh, this is interesting. I, I'm telling you now, they will find you and your story and your journey very interesting. So take that on board and, and allow yourself to have that confidence going into these processes, because then you'll find it much easier. Because I think the biggest probably problem that uh, those such as myself and, and who come from diverse backgrounds probably have is confidence when it comes into these these sort of processes because we, we we perhaps feel like imposters when um there is no need for us to do so whatsoever what an uplifting note to end on <laughs> thank you so much for your time today darren and your valuable insights into life at freshfields and life as a trainee coming from a non-traditional background so no thank, you thank you very much <laughs>